Hi, welcome to the video. If you are interested in watching a get ready with me where I talk about a weekend in Austin, Texas while I do this look that features a bright blush, well, that features a flushed cheek and a bright under eye, then keep watching. If you enjoy it while you're here, make sure to let me know by hitting the thumbs up. And if you wanna see more, please subscribe, chat with me in the comments, onto the video. Hi, welcome to the channel. So today we're in Austin. That's where I'm chatting with you from. So I'm so excited. It's been a minute since we've been on a trip, but let's do some vacation makeup. This is just a little weekend getaway. I'll show you the makeup that I've been doing pretty quickly. It's been soft pink. It's been bright, not bright cheeks, but it's been very blushed cheeks and a very nice covered under eye and let's get into it. I've already got my sunscreen on. This is the Can Make Mermaid Skin UV Gel. Absolutely adore this. Applying some of my Lana Lips 101 Multi-Use Ointment in Strawberry. This is in my project pan and I've been enjoying using it so much. Going in with the Revlon Color Stake Full Coverage Concealer in 005 Fair. So this trip to Austin has just been a very spur of the, well, not spur of the moment. Michael, tra my, Michael, my fiance, travels a lot for work and we have decided to use his accumulated points on this little ex excursion. We've never been to Austin before and I'm really excited to have been able to just kind of pick this place. My dad actually used to live here really a really long time ago and my dad really loves, or was it Dallas? My dad lived in Texas for a little bit and we, and he speaks fondly of it. And I know that Austin has been always like a really cool, weird vibe place. And in my opinion, the vibes that I get from it are kind of a combination of, okay, one sec, let me squeeze my LA Girl Pro Color Mint Corrector. I'm at the almost at the very end. So I've decided that Austin is like a combination of Cincinnati in terms of infrastructure, like the bridges with the Colorado River and everything. It feels a lot like Cincinnati. And it's also very similar to California in terms of the heat and, of course, the um, Latinx, specifically Mexican-American, Central American um, influence due to immigration and everything. And it's hot. It's so hot. <laughs> I did not anticipate how hot it would be. I was just thinking, like, oh, it's May. Like, it's beginning... It's like, oh, 88 degrees. 88 degrees in Salt Lake City is does not feel like this because it's because it's a dry heat. <laughs> so the I I did not anticipate the humidity. Now I'm just gonna blend all of this in. So yeah, the vibes, like the keep Austin weird vibes make me feel very they're very reminiscent to me of Boise. So Boise, Idaho is very all indie. It's just a really cool, funky town. It's very small though. It's small in terms of like a big city small, but very easy to walk around. There's so many different cultures and ethnicities that live there that there's, there's an, a wonderful selection of cultural centers to go to. Um, great restaurants, and I would say the same for here. So far, all the food we've had has been delicious. Our So we landed on Friday, and we immediately went to a food tour. I'm actually wearing the t-shirt. It says, Austin Eats Food Tours. So good. Absolutely delightful. Our tour guide was such a great storyteller. He told us so much about where we went around and all the different places totally recommend. The food was absolutely delicious. The drinks were so good. 
I really enjoyed it. Okay, now I'm done with my foundation base. Now I'm going to go in with concealer and corrector. First, I'll be applying the Neutrogena Radiant Cream Concealer. Yes, I said that right. In the shade Ivory. I'm not applying it directly in my under eye. So I've applied that to all the points where I want some brightness and coverage. And now for some Bobbi Brown Corrector in the shade Porcelain Bisque. So yeah, this food tour was the first time we've ever done a food tour and it was so much fun. It was actually really small. There were six of us, so three couples. And the people we met were so nice. It's been, I think it's been a long time since um, my fiance and I have like, we've met other couples and done an activity together. Especially not related to work. So it was just really fun to meet two new people and have great conversation. And it being our first food tour, it started off on a great note. Like uh, one of the couples that we were with, they are seasoned food tour veterans. And I'm excited. I want to do a food tour pretty much every town we go to now. So yes, we started off first day, did this food tour, came back home, passed out. Long day of travel and some delicious, like we ate so much good food. We immediately passed out for the night and that was a great first day in my opinion. And then yesterday was the pecan festival um, that they had in the street. So they blocked off and they closed a bunch of the roads. They had all these wonderful vendors and shops and everything just out which was so much fun. It was so hot. It was so, so hot. So we were out there for a couple of hours and then after doing a full loop all around the shops and we decided to dip out and get some food and I don't even remember, we came back home again. <laughs> we came back to the hotel and napped. This is very much about rest and relaxation. I'm really glad, like my kind of vacation is not to go out and do as much as possible in the little time that we have. That's not my idea. I mean, if I'm planning for that, if I'm prepped for that, like I can do it, but I would prefer to relax. <laughs> and especially since my fiance has been working so hard and I myself have just been finishing up with finals, like we needed it. Just applied a little bit of bronzer. Lately, I've been liking bronzer. I didn't think I would be a bronzer person, but here I am liking bronzer. I'm really liking how the base has turned out so far. So now I'm using the Stila National Treasure Convertible Color Lip and Cheek Quad, the number one quad, and I dipped into Lilium, and I'm also going to tap into Petunia, this like pinky color. And I've just been tapping that in. The blush just sets the whole look up a few notches. So yeah, we've really been enjoying it out here, but so hot. I We wanna come again probably in the winter because we've heard that the winter out here is similar to spring in other places. I've got a very flushed cheek going on now. Even with all the heat, my makeup has held up pretty well. So it's looking a little bit bright, so I'm going to dampen it down with my Beauty Blender. And I've turned down the volume a little too much, so I'm gonna go in with just a, a smidge more. See, just a smidge, not too much. Definitely focusing more on the outside of my cheek even though I started almost under my eye. Now moving on to my eyes, I'll be using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in Boundless Bisque for a bright waterline. I suggest Infinite Sand as another, it's like a slightly, it's a slight, it's beige. This is 
a bright beige. Infinite Sand is a regular beige. But honestly, using even like the lighter tans and the light browns will look really, really nice for deeper skin tones for a brightened waterline. This really adds so much brightness to the center of the face. So yesterday it was the pecan festival and then we went and got dinner at this barbecue spot that was so delicious. We got brisket, mm, scrumptious, and the mac and cheese, mm, exactly what we needed. And then we got drinks. I'm trying to remember where we went. We got drinks at the at this little bar called Alice that was at the fairground, which seems like it's this little area that's for our food and drinks. So you like restaurants and bars, which is really nice. Very, very cool vibes, like an outdoor bar with an outdoor area to sit in. They also have like an indoor bar area as well. We ended our evening at the Roosevelt room, which was so cool. We were recommended to go to the Roosevelt room by one of the couples on the food tour. The ambiance was just absolutely beautiful. They have over 80 craft cocktails. And we got a couple of tiki drinks. And Michael got the old fashioned and I got the amaretto sour. Gorgeous. Like it was, it was so special unlike any amaretto sour I've ever had before. And we also got the strawberry mezcal cheesecake for dessert. I've never had my socks knocked off so hard. It was so good. So usually I would end off with just like a little bit of brown eyeshadow in the crease after setting my eyelids. But I'm gonna show you what look I did for last night that was so pretty. And right now I'm just working from a palette that I put together myself. This is with the Makeup Forever Magnetic Eyeshadow Palette I hauled in my Sephora Spring Sale haul event. Now I'm applying this kind of cream brown shade in the center of the lid. And then I'll be using this greenish brown shimmer in the outer corner. More like the outer third. And then I'm taking this grayish taupe shade and I will be swiping it with my finger just along the edge, almost going towards my eye from the outside. Just have a little bit more control on the placement. Using my shader brush, this is more of like a packing brush, but I'm gonna use it to gently diffuse everything together, but not too much. If I were to be using a fluffy blending brush, it would most likely just blend everything further and further out, which is not really what I'm looking for at the moment. Next, I'll be using the Nude Sticks Clear Brow Gel to brush up my brows and applying the Bambi Eye Oversized Eye Mascara. Now I'll be using the last little nubbin of my Buxom Plumping Lip Liner and Dangerous Dolly. Just 
topping that off with the yummy lip gloss from CoverGirl. This shade being the Havana Good Time. So this look is pretty much done. I am going to be adding a new product that I have to my collection. So this is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in the shade Light Scapade. Look at that. I'm so excited. So I got this at TG Maxx. I don't know exactly if it's a highlighter or if it's like a finishing powder. I've been lately applying it to the tops of my cheeks as if it's like a soft highlight. But that's the look y'all, let me get changed and then I'll show you the final situation. So this is the final look. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Please chat with me in the comments about if you have been to Austin, Texas, if you are interested in going or if you have any travels in the near future planned, I would love to hear about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.